and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new content dropping. Today is Friday, October 11th. I like to always say the date so you guys know exactly what's coming out. So today, Friday, we get veteran cards. We get the four new Mutt Hero releases. We get another limited time card, which was just announced on Mutt League, so I'll go over that in this video as well. I'll be going over the four new Mutt cards. Maybe the veterans, if there's time, but no one cares about veterans. So I really don't care for them. And then there's also the new Mutt 10 card coming out today. So, around like 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you guys can expect the Mutt 10 video to go up for me for my channel. I'll go over the new Mutt 10 card around then. I'm predicting probably Deion Sanders. I feel like it's about that time where he'll come out. So, we'll stay tuned for that. Hopefully, it's Dion. I don't think they'll give him a regular set, so I might as well just drop him today so I can get one of my favorite cornerbacks of all time. And then I'm going to go over the four Mutt players over on Mutt Head real quick, and then I will head on over to the, um, the screenshots I'll be taking on the stream to show you guys the new limited time card. By the way, the limited time card is George Kittle, which I'm very hyped for because, as you guys know, I'm a big Kittle fan, and I have him, I've had him powered up all year as my tight end. So, I can probably sell Greg Olson. I'll power up Kittle up to like a 90 overall potentially and then i could have him right there and ready probably have like an 84 speed into 90 so i'm very excited for him good run blocking guys but let's head over to the mud screen guys and before we do that make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell we are so close to 10k we're under 300 subscribers away from 10k guys i'm super hyped it's about to happen the big milestone so make sure you smash that sub button you won't regret it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys get this video to 150 likes and make sure to comment down below and say what's up and what you think on this content let's head over to the mud head screen all right guys so we're on the mud head screen first guy we got is danta hightower 90 over right outside linebacker for the new england patriots he's six foot three 265 pounds this guy's a moose pretty massive six foot three 265 it's pretty crazy at linebacker probably one of the better linebackers in the league he's just a little too slow for madden purposes obviously he's supposed to be like a pass rusher kind of edge setter guy but his block shed's way too low which means he's not he's not good in the run defense he has really good hit power really good tackling which means he's a solid hitter but with that speed it's going to be very unlikely he's gonna have to be someone's gonna have to run into him which is very unlikely bad jumping so he really can't play any coverage and his power move is a mediocre 85 so he's not a great pass rusher he's not a great raw run stuffer he's pretty much a glorified truck that it has to be ran into you have to stand in front of the truck for it to hurt you so pretty much it kind of hurts this card i don't really like it decent card if you're a patriot fan that's about it next card we got Dion jones middle linebacker for the atlanta falcon six foot one two twenty two fan favorite the only issue literally the only issue with Deion jones is that we have devin white and shazier for free so he's not exactly that coveted as he usually is 86 speed 87 excel linebacker besides white and shazier is pretty insane 81 jumping is a little low honestly that kind of hurts the card because in my opinion the jumping's huge especially when you're used to this card which you're definitely going to be doing it's going to really hurt you that it's jumping so low 86 play rec is pretty good. 86 awareness is decent. A little low in the agility. You kind of want high agility, high jumping on a user linebacker. Block shed's a little too low for my liking. Although, again, he's a user, so maybe in the run, uh, run game it won't really matter anyways. But if you're not with the times you don't use him, he's going to be really bad and blocked easily. His tackling, hit power, and pursuit are decent. I wish his hit power was slightly higher. And his zone's decent, but again, if you're using him, it doesn't really matter. I do like this card. It just isn't for my team. Next, we got Fletcher Cox, 91 overall defensive tackle for the Eagles. I'm a big Fletcher Cox fan in real life. My friends the other day actually met him in person at a racetrack, so it was pretty cool. I saw some pictures of them with him. I really wanted him in the video game, but the issue is with him is his block shed. He's got decent athleticism at lot, defensive tackle. 81 excels good, 74 speed's okay, 87 play rec. And remember, speed isn't the most important factor for defensive tackles. It's more acceleration because defensive tackles are quarterbacks like a measly three to four yards, typically maybe six at most. most. So you got to think about it. In that time, he's not going to build up his speed anyways. It's more important about how quickly he can accelerate and hit some kind of speed. The 90 strength's really good. Play rec's really good. Block shed's too bad. Pursuit, tackle, and hit power. So his hit power's too low for my liking because defensive tackles get a lot of hits on the running back. And his block shed's too low. He's a run stuffer. He's not much of a pass rusher. He can pass rush, obviously, but at defensive tackle, what I usually care about more is that hit power because typically if a defensive tackle gets through, he'll get doubled by the... um the guards which again can cost some double teams on the outside but i really need that run stuffing nothing's worse than being gashed by the run this year with inside zone or halfback dive and that's gonna happen with him and finally on the list we got mitchell schwartz 56 speed don't really care about speed at right tackle too much it, i mean it kind of depends on what the plays you run 85 strength is decent 90 awareness is really good 92 pass block 89 pass block finesse and 91 pass blocking power or 92 pass block power 91 pass block the pass blocking is really good the issue with this card is run blocking run blocking is huge in this year because running is the meta right now and if you guys don't already know a right tackle with 70 run, uh, pass blocking or run blocking in general 
he's gonna be a liability and I, I run a lot so when i get to a point where that one guy's always getting what that one guy always getting shed could ruin the whole play inside zone the right tackle gets shed to the inside stuffs the run he gets shed to the outside can come around there's a lot of things that can go wrong when one guy gets shed all the time and that's going to be mitchell schwartz i need a balanced attack on my line Unless for some guys like center, I can go all running for me because I feel like center doesn't always cause the worst pressure. But again, that's about it, guys, for these. Let's head on over to the uh, Madden screen real quick and potentially the limited time screenshots of George Kittle. We're we'll head over to the Kittle real quick. So this is the fourth limited time and I believe the final one for the Mud Heroes promo, if I'm correct. Unless I do some limited time boss, they did a limited time Aaron Donald for the first release. They did a limited time Jadavion Clowney, a limited time Alvin Kamara, and a limited time Kittle. Most likely my favorite ones will be Donald and Kittle as one and two. Although Kamara is my favorite player out of the four. For Madden purposes, I believe will be Donald and Kittle as the two most dominant ones. I'm really I'm really hyped to see Kittle's speed because if it is high enough, he'll definitely be worth powering up. The only thing that sucks is that limited times this year have been a roadblock. So now that Donald has a limited time, I literally can't power up my Donald any further. You cannot be given. Pretty much what Madden's doing this year is giving us Death Wish. It's a Death Wish. They give our favorite fan favorite cards limited time cards. And now 99% of the Madden community can't afford them till Series 3. So now I'm going to have to wait till Series 3 to get Kittle and Donald fully powered up on their Redux cards. Because for the time being, I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to spend all my coins on two cards. I'll just wait. I'll power them up as far as they could go. Which I actually can power up Donald now that I just remember that. But guys, let's head on over to the screenshots and go see limited time. All right, guys, so we're back on the Madden screen here. As you guys can see, EA's kind of... Re they, this year, they've been allowing you to power up cards earlier than the content's actually released. So I guess they, they give out, like, the initial coding for, like, the cards to be out. And then they just don't release it until, like, 1030, but they're out, as you guys can see. So this is the George Kittle card art. Sorry if my face cam's a little bit in the way. I was going to move it, but that's kind of the spot I'm used to. 93 overall tight end. Looking pretty insane. So I powered him up to here so far. His power-up looks pretty good. I'll go over what his power-up stats will be in a second, but his base card powered up will have a 78 strength, 82 agility, 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 97 awareness. I don't even know how that helps him there, but 92 catching, 85 run block, 89 jumping. This card is a monster. He's stupid athletic, and he can block like a lineman. That's better than some of the linemen I have. 78 trucking, 80 impact blocking, 83 run blocking, 78 run blocking, finesse, 87 spec catch, 84 catch in traffic, 83 medium route running, 83 beat press, 85 short route running, and 78 deep route running. So if this guy wasn't powered up, you can imagine this card will probably be like 77 strength, 81 agility, 85 speed, just subtract one from everything just about. I really, I don't know, this card art's been kind of weird, so I do really like it, but at the same time, some of them have looked kind of weird. You look like when you do those weird edits on your phone and you get like some weird cartoony looking card. Kind of looks like a character from Lazy Town in this, if you guys ever watched that show when you were younger. So this card as a whole is pretty awesome. I don't know what X-Factors he'll get. Obviously, I'd have to actually power him up. For me personally, I'm going to be waiting to Series 3 to be getting most of these cards, like the with the Redux version, because like I said, EA's been giving us Roblox. As, as much as I love Kittle, I'm not dumb enough to spend a million point four coins on Kittle right now when I know in like two or three weeks when Series 3 starts or like four weeks when Series 3 starts, he's going to be going for like 600k and I can buy him for less than half the price. And... By the time that comes out, he's going to not even be one of the best tight ends anymore anyway. So, like, why would I go all in on that? Now, let me show you what his power-up stats are. My bad, I'm backing out. Show you guys what he looks like at a 90 overall. I think this card looks really awesome. So, let's compare it to this Greg Olson. Compared to Greg Olson, he's faster, better strength, similar catching, much worse catch and traffic spec catch. And then the short route running and medium route running are pretty close. But the run blocking is where he kills him. So, he's faster. He's way more athletic, and he can run block better. So for me, I think Kittle's back in the lineup. I'm going to have to probably get rid of Greg Olson now. Because my big thing with Greg Olson was the speed he had with his catching. But now George Kittle's faster, can run block better. And for me, I run most of the time. So I care more about the run blocking anyways. The few times Greg Olson's in. it's not. And the thing is, I don't use tight ends like the traditional person uses a tight end. I don't use them like big bodies, box out in the back of the end zone. No, no. I use tight ends as guys who get open on out routes in routes and over the middle routes where they're wide open because they're blitzing or they're one-on-one -on -one and they're not covered and they all they gotta do is catch a wide open ball and then turn up field so for me greg olson's catching stats don't really help because not often do i throw him contested and when i do throw them contested he's been dropping them anyways so i'd much rather have kittle who's faster and most of the time when kittle's in like when greg olson's in i have to worry about his blocking thanks with kittle he can stay in 90 99 of the snaps and block just fine for me and then the one percent that i need him to uh, pass or commit power, catch a pass. He'll be right there and just fine for that. So I'm more than happy to have that. He's more of a help as a run blocker anyways. And then obviously his full card is way better. But 
who don't have that luxury, guys. But this car is really awesome. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Kittle, the new Mud Heroes players. And we do have the veterans, obviously. You guys can go check those out. No one really cares about those anyways. And then stay tuned today for the Mutt 10 players. I also have my monthly rewards, get a gold, which I'll probably do in tomorrow. And I also have, uh, at some points today, my house rule 35 win reward. So stay tuned for all that, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of these cards. And give this video a big fat thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.